Hi guys. Um, I wanted I came to you today because I wanted to talk to you about the Husqvarna Viking Number One Plus. Okay, I got this machine last Christmas, and I played around with the the embroidery part of it just a little bit, and um, I never really got into it until just now. So. Um, when I first got it, I had really bad issues on trying the embroidery unit part of it out. I could do the, the cards and that worked fine because I just used, you know, the built-in technology of it, which was fine. Okay. So, and to use the cards, you know, it came with these kind of cards right here and which is uh, programmable cards and you use them with your um, little cassettes that you can you know get which mine came with most of the ones that I've got anyway so but I wanted to be able to do monogram and that kind of stuff and when I got this machine it came with the um, 2d I think it is either the 2 or the 3d um, through Husqvarna well, with those um, programs, you have to have a um, Windows 98, which I didn't have. So, stupid me. I purchased one and wrong, bad mistake. Because it just, you know, oh my God, it was just awful. Put it that way. Um, it wouldn't do half the things that I needed it to do. So, um, I looked online and I bought... Little Max box, and um, I threw Amazing Designs, and I also bought the Edit and Stitch, the I think it's Monogram and Stitch, and the Design and Stitch. Works perfectly, you know. You go over there, you design whatever you're gonna design, you uh, save it, you send it to your Little Max, pop it in, and you're good to go. Okay, so anyway, now this machine actually came with this foot, okay? This is your Q foot, all right? And I never could get it to work correctly because it kept breaking stitches, breaking stitches. Well, not breaking stitches, but um, it kept popping my thread on a constant basis. I mean, every couple of stitches, it would pop and you'd have to go back and, you know. Well, anyway, and it just wouldn't work. Well, I have an older model Husqvarna that this machine and that one they actually use the same feet and same parts and stuff like that and I already had this little darning foot well I tried the darning foot and lo and behold the crazy thing worked and it works like a dream I kid you not I have no problem with the embroidery part of it now okay so Anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and we'll power up the machine. And it tells you over here, raise your pressure foot, okay, and your embroidery unit engages. You have to, on the side over here, I, I don't know if you can see this or not, but on the side right here, you have to make sure this is on your number one. You see the little pattern of the, the embroidery, okay, that's your, you know, that's your, for your embroidery unit itself okay you have to this right here is your feed dogs make sure they're disengaged okay so let's go ahead and we'll thread our bobbin okay and when you're doing your bobbin if you see these is the the concave bobbins like this side right here is pushed in and this side is kind of like a dome shape and it has a little H on it make sure the little H with the dome side is out you know, and um, I don't think it'll work the other way anyhow, okay? You put your bobbin in, and what I, I just learned this. This actually is a thread cutter, and if you just barely put it up there, and when you're embroidering, you don't have that rat's nest underneath it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put, I've already hooped a, um, my fabric okay and so far I've done quite a few things on it and comes out pretty good okay anyway so 
you turn your um, embroidery part on and then mine is saved into you can do up to 35 designs you know you can save into your card for 35 different designs so and with the amazing designs you can actually print out when you do a design and it'll tell you color one color two color three so you know anyway it works really good that way okay so let's go ahead and get this little baby started okay we got everything ready to go you come over here and you press your start button okay all right now it's just stopping to tell me that I need to cut my thread well I can't see it because I'm at an angle here so well crud I know I've seen that quite a bit anyway all right let's start it back up okay so while that's doing I want to show you a few examples that I did which is I did this right here for, um, I was making a, um, putting her initials on a fleece jacket last night. Stitches is absolutely beautiful, but, whoops, I don't know what that is. Okay, anyway, this is the back, and then this is the front. Um, I did on the... Okay, anyway, so um, I also did this right here on blue jean. No problem whatsoever. Here's the back of it. Stitches out wonderfully. Okay, and then I also did this right here on, um, this is actually <laughs> my practice shirt. So I've done a lot on it, but um, I did my daughter's name. And this is a t-shirt fabric, so it's a stretchy fabric. It's actually my practice shirt that I practice on <laughs> different stitches. See, look. <laughs> but anyway, so it, it's just my practice shirt. But, you know, it just it stitches out beautiful. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you the back of that. Hold on. Okay, so here we go. There's the back of it. And, yeah, just absolutely wonderful. So, and, um, most people, you know, I mean, when I got this right here, I was doing thread combinations, needle combinations, um, because it kept breaking the thread, but that foot right there, you know, it does the job. So, anyway, yeah, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not, let me see if I can zoom up a little bit. So you can see it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyway, so yeah, look, it does just absolutely awesome work. So, and you know, now I've got the, um, the handbook, the uh, user's guide, and I also have the manual to this machine, and I still had to, you know, just basically, you know, learn as you go. It's basic, you know, what you have to do. So, um, and I haven't had any kind of issues with it. I think, you know, I had a, like a, a skip stitch here and there, but I, I think, you know, fine tuning, take care of all that kind of stuff. So, and it's actually almost finished. And so it's pretty, pretty quick, I think, anyway. So, you know, for a beginner machine, this is, yeah, this is just an awesome, awesome little machine. So, let's see, it's fixing to be finished, and we'll unhoop it and see how it looks. Give it just a moment. Oh, it still has my E to go. <laughs> anyway, so, if you think about getting one of these, oh, I would strongly, strongly suggest it. I'm... I'm fixing to actually update to a newer uh, machine, but I'm still, I was going to get rid of this one, but I don't know. I'm going to have a hard time if I do. So, you know, either way, I can use it as a, you know, a secondary machine, but I would still use the sewing features on it either way.
So, okay. And it's finished. That was really, really quick. Okay. So, you lift this up. You press your little button to release it. Okay. Anyway, so... All right, so anyway, so let's go ahead and we'll cut our threads. All right, now, here's the, whoops, there's all the stitching, okay, and here's the back. Does absolutely awesome work. So anyway, so I hope this machine, I mean, I hope this little tutorial will, you know, help anybody else that needs it. Anyway, if you have any questions, just comment below. All right, y'all have a good one.